Ever ponder why NBA referees sometimes seem to have personal vendettas against certain players? Well, if you were watching Wednesday's game between the Golden State Warriors and Phoenix Suns, you might have found yourself asking that very question. In a move that sparked wild reactions, Warriors guard Chris Paul was given the boot by referee Scott Foster after a heated exchange. Some fans found the whole situation hilarious given the history between Paul and Foster, while others were less amused. This has been going on for a good 45 seconds. This has been going and now on a for technical foul. Years. Scott Foster had had enough. He had had enough after a lengthy conversation. Don't know if Chris Paul had said something different than maybe he... Oh, he's going to get tossed. There it is. Scott Foster says goodbye. And now, Steph Curry grabs Chris Paul to hold him back from going back. And... Switching gears here, we've got former NBA star Kevin Garnett delivering a harsh judgment on Washington Wizards' Jordan Poole. Garnett questioned Poole's attitude and leadership qualities, marking a stark contrast to his previous support of the player. This kind of criticism from a legend like Garnett is a tough pill to swallow, and it has left fans questioning Poole's ability to lead the Wizards. Flexing champ shit between you ain't bringing champ environment in here. Right. You learned this in Golden State, nigga? Nah, this what you, this nah, what you, you brought from nah, them? you ain't learned this. Bro, that's what I'm saying. You ain't learned you niggas this. over there professionals, bro. You got, yeah. They got your ass out of there because you went and fall in line, bro. That's what I'm saying. Niggas like this don't belong in all league, bro. bro Damn, you in the league. Believe. He does not belong in the league as a, he's the head of a team, P. Nah, I don't want my son under no nigga like that. You see how he talking to teammates? Shut up, my nigga. This is my team. I got it. Nigga drawing up the joint, <laughs> looking all through the towel, snot. Like, like, bro, you can say whatever you want about me, bro. I ain't never disrespected the game. I ain't never disrespected the position you, you of being a leader. Now let's head over to San Antonio, where Spurs head coach Greg Popovich found himself playing the role of peacekeeper during a game against the Los Angeles Clippers. Popovich told fans to quit booing Clippers forward Kawhi Leonard warning them not to poke the bear. Leonard, who began his career with the Spurs, responded by leading the Clippers to victory. Talk about adding insult to injury. Anybody that knows anything about sports, you don't poke the bear. But you, you told the fans that it was... I just, I just told you why I did it. What, can you clarify that, though? What, um, I, 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 I spoke English, I just told you. Anybody that knows anything about sports knows you don't poke the bear. That's my answer. Over in Memphis, retired Grizzlies legend Tony Allen had a few choice words for Dylan Brooks. Brooks, who now plays for the Houston Rockets, made some disparaging remarks about his former team, comparing himself to an ex-girlfriend and suggesting they took him for granted. Allen, never one to mince words, pointed out Brooks's lackluster performance against LeBron James. Ouch. Well, he's the girlfriend that we, we left, bro. She doing better on the other side. Hey, she man. got the BBL. Man, nah. listen. She at the front row of the, of the Lakers Look. game. Look. You know what I'm saying? Look. But she can't read. <laughs> she better, she better, she better get her ass, she better get her ass out of here. Man, man, you don't, man, you don't stop it. Them boys, they, them boys one game ahead of us, man. You better get on up out of here. <laughs> they ain't doing nothing that extra. It ain't nothing. The grass is not green on the other side. I don't know why chicks always think they finna go and bounce and do it. Yeah, you just over there. You the, you the same chick. Believe me. I just saw what I just saw what LeBron just did to him too. He just gave him 37, 9, and 8. He's still over there getting his ass bust. Yeah, ain't nothing, we ain't missing nothing. Trust me. Speaking of LeBron, the Lakers star found himself playing the role of Monday morning quarterback following a tough loss to the Dallas Mavericks. Expressing disappointment with his own performance, LeBron compared it to a botched football play. While LeBron managed to score 16 of his 26 points in the fourth quarter, it wasn't enough to secure a win for the Lakers. The execution uh, on the alley of the AD what, what, left a little short. Left a little short. Um, right read, uh, just the quarterback. I just left it short. I didn't. I didn't leave my receiver and uh, got picked off. LeBron, um, <laughs> off court question. Um, I'll talk to. You. Finally, we've got an emotional reunion between Drew Holiday and his former Milwaukee Bucks teammates. Despite the anticipation, there was little communication between Holiday and Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
Both the Celtics and the Bucks are near the top of the NBA standings, so it's clear both teams are thriving despite the trade. So there you have it, folks. A referee with a grudge, a legend's harsh words, a coach playing peacekeeper, a player's petty remarks, a star's self-critique, and an emotional reunion. Just another day in the world of NBA basketball. Stay tuned for more updates on all the drama on and off the court. Off.